it's Dr. Amy Hudkins from the Occupational Therapy Department. We are heading into St. Margaret's Hall, the new OT building. Come with me for a sneak peek. I'm so excited to show you around our new space. St. Margaret Hall is home to the Occupational Therapy Program. Right now we are in the Skywalk that connects St. Margaret Hall to the rest of the university. So if you're not familiar with occupational therapy, this is a great time for me to tell you about it. We have a Master of Occupational Therapy program here at St. Francis. Occupational therapists are part of our rehabilitation team. We work with physical therapists and other disciplines and our primary goal is to really allow people to be able to do whatever it is that they want and need to do every single day in their life. So we do good assessments of individuals and our interventions look a little bit like what you do every day. What's important to our patient is important to us. We teach daily living skills that might look like bathing and dressing techniques. We work with children in schools. We work in nursing homes. And our primary goal is to make sure that people get to do whatever it is they want and need to do every single day. What our faculty love most about our job is our students, of course. We have connections with our students the moment you walk through the door. We love the mentorship process. Our offices are available to you whenever you need them. The mentorship process starts from the day that you walk in the door, and we continue that process through your whole journey here. We're not only your teachers and your advisors, but we will mentor you through your entire time here and far beyond. When you get out and you start practicing as an OT, then you also become our mentors as well. We have a good relationship with our students and it all starts here in our offices when you come to visit for advising or whatever else you might need from us. I can't wait to get in here and use this space. This is our OT lab. This is where the fun happens. Students will be in this lab with hands-on activities. If you know OT, you know it's all hands-on. You can't just learn about OT in our classroom. We will have an entire kitchen set up here. Our students will be learning about how to teach people how to get meals for themselves, do their laundry. We'll have a washer and dryer over here. In this space, as we move through here, this is our pediatric area. This is one of the favorites of students by far. So we have one piece of equipment here. This is what we call our hamster wheel. So our students learn hands-on activities to help children who are learning to navigate through their environment and be independent as kids. This is a hamster wheel. It can be used for children to crawl through. It also doubles as a ball pit too, which provides a lot of sensory information. Also in this area, we will have a swing that hangs from the ceiling to teach about sensory integration. And we'll have a lot of other equipment that we pull out on our pediatric days. Peds by far is some of our students' favorite days. Another space that we are really excited about is our innovation lab. This will house our assistive technology. We've invested in some high-end technology like a driving simulator, a 3D printer, and we have some OT assessment and intervention equipment that will be housed in this area. Our students will learn all about how to use those and be able to take that information right onto their clinicals and into the field of OT. Welcome to our OT classroom. Every OT student needs to be prepared to have a really good foundational knowledge in occupational therapy. That will happen in this room. You will learn about theory in OT, scholarship in OT, OT assessments, and the entire OT process here. That will prepare you then to take that information and go put that into practice in our innovation lab, in the OT lab, in clinicals, and even beyond. Isn't this space amazing? You really need to come and check it out for yourself.